Hello everybody and uh, welcome to an overview video where we are essentially gonna show you how to design a system in DynamoDB. So the goal of the video is rather an overview. Uh, we want to use DynamoDB uh, single table design, how we can achieve that. I will show you a very complex scenario here that we are gonna do for example a tickets right. Uh, you must have used, uh, you know, Jira, you know, ClickUp, all these um, software that essentially uh, allows you to manage task, right? So let's essentially learn how we can model this in DynamoDB and query this in DynamoDB. Uh, things are a little different in NoSQL, hence I'll show you. So here, I'm going to show you some of the features that I'm going to be implementing in the video, right? I'll show you how it's designed. So a user can have multiple tickets, right? Each tickets uh, could be assigned to multiple user, right? Could be assigned to multiple developer. Tickets has title, description. Ticket also has sprint points, right? It has a due date. People can comment, um, uh, you know. So all these are the difference. Uh, you can attach items to the ticket, right? So all these are the items that I could do on a ticket, right? Um, how do we query this? How do we develop the access pattern? I wanna show you an overview video of this, okay? So let's get started. So the first thing that I do is I essentially made an entity, right? On a high level, I want to know what all entities are there. So here I'm saying that a ticket entity, uh, I have, let me scroll toward this. I have a user, that's the basic one, right? A user will have a ID, name, alias, profile picture. Tickets will have name, description, ticket status, due date, etc. created date, right? So what I'm doing is I'm referencing the ticket in the user and I'm referencing the user in the tickets, right? So essentially it's a two-way embedding, right? When you have many to many, you do you do reference, um, so uh, reference them, right? So here I have done that, right? Tickets also have statuses like progress blocked. Tickets also have comments. Uh, the comments are usually made on a ticket, so I'm referencing the ticket, right? Comments are made by users. I'm also referencing the user because I want to see on a given ticket who are the user who commented, what is the comment. Tickets can also have a priority, right? So I'm also referencing the user and tickets on the priority. So tickets could have um, these priority. Tickets also has an attachment, right? Uh, you can attach media items. So I'm referencing the user and ticket here. Tickets also have a tags. Right, I could search the tickets from tag value and tickets also have sprint points. So these are all the entities that I have. Then what I do, you want to sit with your team and essentially jot down all the list of access patterns here. For example, I want to fetch all the user for a given ticket or for a given ticket, uh, show me all the user who are assigned, you know, write down all the access patterns on a on an Excel spreadsheet. I have done that and now let's start modeling, right? Again, I will show you the DynamoDB uh, stuff shortly. So uh, again, if you observe, I have a user. The way I'm modeling it, if you observe the entity, I'm referencing the ticket in the user, right? So if you observe user, user one, ticket one, user one, ticket two. So user has many tickets, right? And I'm essentially observe over here. I'm referencing over here, right? Observe the green color, right? So now this becomes my global secondary index and I can say for a given ticket, fetch me all the user, right? I could perform all the filter operation. Now, same thing uh, in the tickets, I'm going to reference the user entity. So for a given tickets, as you can observe over here, I have multiple user and I'm referencing the user here. So now my access pattern becomes for a given user, show me all the tickets that they are working on, filter on uh, due date, filter by uh, statuses, right? I could run all these access pattern there, right? Similarly, uh, comments. Uh, so here, if you observe, um, Comments can be on a ticket, so comment one, comment two, it's on ticket one or ticket two, right? Multiple people can comment, right? I'm referencing the ticket and the user. So now for a given GSI, I can say for a given ticket, show me all the comments made by a user, right? I could run all these access patterns, right? Similarly, priority list. So uh, remember, you can select the priority on the ticket. So this is essentially the user can select from these drop downs, right? And here I'm assigning the priority. So priority one, observe over here, priority one, tickets one, priority two, tickets two. So each tickets has a priority. And essentially I will have an entity called priority where I can define all the data attributes. For example, what is the priority? When was that created? Who created that? And I'm essentially referencing it here, right? Same goes with the tag and same goes with the point. So uh, performing this exercise, I essentially wrote down my, um, I essentially created my Excel spreadsheet. So now I know what are my GSI, what are my LSI, uh, how I want to query my data, right? And then what I do is basically, I used a, a tool called NoSQL Workbench and I would model every single thing here. 
I've already modeled this, so rather, as I said, this video is an overview. So if you observe the first GSI, for a given ticket, I can have an SK here. I can say, for a given ticket, I know who is the person working on that. I know Sommel is working on this ticket. There are two comments on the ticket. For example, the comment was, did you finish the task? User 2 commented, no, I'm still working on it. A priority was a high. As you can see, you can get the priority for a ticket. You can see the attachments that were made for the ticket. What are the attachments made, right? What are the tags for the ticket? For example, data team and Python are the tags that are essentially added on the ticket. I could also see the points for the ticket. So this ticket is assigned two points, right? So I essentially in a single go, in a single partition, I can fetch all the items related to the ticket, right? So given a URL for a ticket, I can grab the description, the name, the comments, the priority, the points, uh, all the media that are attached to it, right? Now, uh, similarly, my second uh, is my GSI is my user ticket view. So for a given, I can fetch all the tickets that they are working on. I could filter based on the statuses, right? I could also see what the due date is, right? I could also see the comments they have made. I could also see the priority, uh, what all attachment the user has made so far on the ticket. All the items related to the user, I can refer to this GSI. The third table is basically the tag. So let's say you have an access pattern where you want to search uh, tickets based on the tag. So here you can see for a tag data team, show me all the tickets. Tickets one and ticket two have the tag called data team, right? So that is also an access pattern, right? So now if you want to fetch all the information about the ticket when a user clicks, right? So here from the data team, you'll fetch the ticket uh, numbers, right? So then you can query the GSI for the tickets and for a given tickets, you can fetch all the items such as user, comments, priority, points, attachment, every single items you can fetch. Uh, that's how you essentially would do a data modeling on DynamoDB. Uh, it's usually hard because people do come from a relational background and they have a usually a hard time uh, modeling these complex scenarios in um, NoSQL database. And uh, understanding how to model a complex project is very, very important, right? And if you observe, this is a very complex thing because we have a lot of entities modeled in a single table. I can query my data however I want. For example, for a given ticket, I can query user. For a for, for a user, I can fetch all the tickets. I can filter by status. I can filter by due dates, right? I can also fetch the priority. I can search by tags, right? For a given tag, show me all the tickets, show me all the user. All these amazing features I can add, right? Um, again, this is pretty much um, almost what a, a ticket would have like. You will have a user, you will have comments, you will have points, you will have description, status, priority, uh, tag names, uh, right? And, 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 and so on, right? So what you do learn from this overview video is basically when you do this, decide to design such scenarios, you want to open up your spreadsheet and first write down the entities and the possible attributes that the entity may anticipate. Then start assigning the reference. For example, in the user, I will reference ticket, right? And then basically, after performing this exercise, I would write down the access pattern here. For a given user, what all queries you are gonna run for tickets, what all access pattern or queries you're gonna run for the comments, what are the access pattern? And then slowly, slowly, slowly progress your way through the design, right? So the first iteration was user and tickets, right? Then the second iteration, I added comments. The third iteration, I added priority in this, right? Uh, tickets can have priority. Fourth iteration, I added attachments. And the fifth iteration essentially had points and tags and so on, right? So what you do learn is a step-by-step -step approach on how to design systems, right, in DynamoDB. And if you do want to watch uh, how I came to this point, you can watch all these videos. I have a basic video, then I would say watch part one, part two, part three, part four, and then the part five. Hopefully these all should give you a good idea on how to model items in DynamoDB. I'll leave the entire spreadsheet in the description. So if you guys want, please feel free to download and share with your colleagues so they can also learn how to model items in DynamoDB. I hope this video provided you a good overview uh, on how we can approach modeling items in Dynamo. And remember, there's nothing that you cannot model in DynamoDB. If you model correctly, you can get performance at best scale, right? It's pretty fast. It's pretty performant, right? DynamoDB is designed for that, right? So another thing that you observe is my column names are generic, PKSK, GSI1, GSI2. You don't want to say user ID. That doesn't work. For single table design, you usually also do give generic names, right? Thank you so much. And if you have any additional question, you may post your question in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer them as and when I get time. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.